No signs of a slowdown. Niala may be weakening, but hurricane season is still alive and well, and it isn't officially over until the end of November. Meteorologist Pete Gajano tells us why October could bring us more storms. Pete. Uh, that's right. Record water temperatures are combining with one of the strongest El Ninos on record to extend the most active part of hurricane season well into October and November. It's a month known more for ghouls and goblins than hurricanes, but this October could be scary for a different reason. As Niala fades away, computer models continue to show possible future tropical cyclone development in the coming weeks. We could very well be looking at a historic uh, tropical cyclone season. Hurricane season normally trails off significantly in October, something that likely won't happen this year. Part of the reason? Warm ocean waters. The record water temperatures we saw over the summer, well, they've continued into the fall. Get this, water temperatures right now, they're above where they'd normally be in August, and that's the peak of hurricane season. All these warm red and orange. Hurricanes feed off of warm waters, and the fact that ocean temperatures are four to six degrees above average has forecasters concerned. We can get something develop in these really warm waters, and they can still move up and maintain um, their maintain their strength as they move into Hawaii. Also contributing to what will likely be a record-breaking season, another fright outside the usual Halloween scares, what some have called the Godzilla of El Ninos. We do expect that because we have an El Nino, that we are anticipating continued above normal activity levels through October and even through November. A strong El Nino combining with record warm water temperatures, leaving many forecasters a little spooked about what's to come. Now, if a new storm develops, it'll be named Oho and be the 12th tropical cyclone of the season. That would make the 2015 hurricane season the most active on record. Paula.